Thank you for joining me for yet another unboxing video. And today we're delving into The Dead of Winter, A Crossroads Game. A game by Isaac Vega and John Gilmore by Plaid Hat Games. Really cool artwork right off the bat. Play in the epic struggle for power and survival. Dead of Winter is an experience that can only be accomplished through the minimum, uh, the medium of tabletop games. It is a story-centric game about surviving through a harsh winter in an apocalyptic world. The survivors are all dealing with their own psychological imperatives, but must still find a way to work together to fight off outside threats, resolve crisis, find food, and supplies and keep the colony's morale up. Dead of Winter has players making frequent, difficult, heavy, thematic, wildly varying decisions that often have them deciding between what is best for the colony and what is best for themselves. It's for ages 13 plus, for two to five players. Dur duration is between 60 minutes to 120 minutes. Not suitable for children under 36 months because they're small parts. Again, Plaid Hat Games, the game was released in 2016. If you have any questions or want to play through video, go to plaidhatgames.com. Or if you want to purchase this or any of the expansions, you can do that there as well. Of course, a list of a tremendous amount of components. And there you have the back of the box. So, let's crack this bad boy open and see what we have on the inside. Lots of stuff on the top, lots of stuff on the inside. So I'm gonna push that to the side as I normally do. And we're gonna take some of this stuff, put this to the side. Take this stuff, put that to the side. Looks like we got that little. So let's start with the game board. Let's start with the game board because it looks like it's not nothing on that side. But there you go. Let's see what we got here. Looks like where you put your cards. Your crisis cards go there. You got numbers zero through here's your round tracker so it goes from zero to ten the colony main objective waste pile crisis cards crisis contributions what's that say there uh project warehouse industrial so it looks like a map your morale chart goes from again zero to ten you got a food supply down here you got occupants who is living in there keep them out so entrance three, entrance four, entrance five, entrance six, entrance one and two. So that's your compound, obviously. So it's not a huge board, but there it is. So what else we got here? We got a rule book. It says stop. If you want us to teach you how to play, you can visit plathatgames.com and watch a video explanation. Okay, cool. But we always have a rule book in here. Again, great artwork. Gotta love it. Looks like shattered glass. All the characters. Very cool. Object of the game, components, main objective cards, explanation of those cards, full color as you can tell. Secret objective cards. Survivor cards, item cards. Item card symbol types, player reference sheet, round summary, player turn actions, group leader, secret objective, followers, unused action dice pool, used action dice pool. So there you go. So we're gonna get to round summary in a minute there. You got crisis cards, you got crossroads cards. Additional components, First po player token, barricade tokens, all kinds of tokens and stuff. Dice, all right. The game board, an explanation of it. You just saw the game board, so we already got that on the table. Location cards. Game setup. To add survivor standee to the colony. Setting up the game. Three player game setup.
round order. You got player turn phase and colony phase. Player turn phase. Reveal crisis. Roll action die. Player turn. Player turn actions. Actions that require an action die. Attack. Example of attacking a zombie, attacking a survivor. Searching a location. Barricade, clean ways to track survivor ability. Actions that do not require an action die. Play a card. Right. Adding cards to the crisis. Move a survivor. Spend food tokens. Request handoff. Vote to exile. Rolling for exposure. Blank wound, frostbite bitten. So you guys, special Dyson here, obviously. Spreading a bite effect. Hey, Sparky the dog. Resolving crossroad cards. I resolve crisis. What you gotta do. Then you have the colony phase. Pay okay, food. Check waste. Resolve crisis. Add zombies. Check main objective. Move round tracker. Pass first player token. Adding zombies. Example of how to do that. Killing zombies. How to do that. Adding survivors. Killing survivors. Exile, I mean, throw them out. Winning and losing the game. Voting, card text, roll a die, role playing secret objectives and game balance. Gameplay variants, co op variant, two player variant, betrayer variant, hardcore variant, player elimination. Main objective stories. Weeks of Darkness, Home Sweet Home, Kill Them, Raiding Party, Find a Cure, so these must be different missions, or stories behind them, everything, leave it all behind, too many mouths, stockpile, we need more supplies, winter has come. Betrayal Stories, Gluttony Betrayal, all for one betrayal, Runaway Betrayal, Accept Your Fate Betrayal, Trigger Happy Betrayal, Take Over Betrayal. Cult Leader Betrayal, Serial Killer Betrayal, Mad Scientist Betrayal, Obsessed Betrayal. And you got an index, you got the credits and the playtesters who bring you this great game. And Plat Hat Games, of course, again, PlatHatGames.com if you're interested in purchasing this or any of their expansions or any of the other games that they have to offer. So realistically, take away these uh, stories at the end. You have a total of 15 pages of rules, which doesn't seem to be a lot. So, there's your rule book. You got your player reference cards. You got your round summary, player turn phase, reveal crisis, roll action dice, play returns, colony phase, play for pay food, check waste, resolve crisis, add zombies, check main objective, move round tracker, Pass first place token, unused action dice followers, and player turn actions again. Things you can do. All right, so what are some of the things you can do? Uh, require an action die. Attack, search, barricade, clean waste, attract. Actions that do not require an action die. Play a card, add a card to the crisis, move a survivor, spend food tokens, request handoff vote to exile. Remember, the player you taught to you, your right must draw a crossword card at the beginning of your turn. Use the action dice. See the objectives. So you have five of these. One, two, three, four, five of those. It appears you get some extra cards here. You get one for the police station. I guess these are things you can add on to the game. Nothing on the back. Let's see, is there anything in the back of those? Nope. So you got a police station you could add on to the board. Add that on there. There you go. So you can throw it on the end there. You can do a grocery store. 
Maybe these are side things that you, if you leave the compound and go out, to find things. There's a school, there's a library, there's a hospital, gas station. And so you got, what you hear, what you see, biohazard, yeah. zombies, furry flares, I'm not sure. There you go. So you get those as well. Dice. A whole heck of a lot of D6s. Yeah. They're small, they're like uh, 40k size dice, smaller dice that come with their, their box sets. Yeah. They got it. Yeah. Yeah. The dice stacking and stuff like that, so you need a lot of dice for that. All right. That's included. Eight different decks of cards. Eight different decks of cards. Let's take a look at these cards. And they're in no specific order of importance, but here they are. These are all secret cards. Things you don't want the other players to know, so let's go. Let's see what we got here. Uh, Hope, Loner. Revenge, the way back home, all I need is my books, collector, masochist, safety, justice, hunger, historian, repopulate, desire to live, new destination, burn it all down, experienced, protected, zombie killing robot. You win the game if all the following is true. The main objective has been completed. You have at least one gun and two supply cards in your hand. Optional, name your zombie killing robot. Serial killers, mad scientist, cult leader, trigger happy, accept your fate. All for one, take over, run away, gluttony, order, obsessed, Hypochondriac, leader, neat freak, germaphobe. Last one, You're the junkie. You win the game if all the following is true. The main objective has been completed. You have at least three pill cards in your hand. All right. So those are your secret cards. I have a secret I'll never tell. All right. Also got these. Baggies, so let's put this over to the side here and get these kind of looking cards. All the backs are the same. All right, put those over. Oh, looks like character cards. All right, Daniel Smith, Sophie Robinson, Gabriel Diaz, Jenny Clark, Sparky the dog, Brandon Kane, Janet Taylor. Graybeard, Maria Lopez, James Meters, Harmon Brooks, John Prince, Miss Chan, Edward White, Rod Miller, Tom Hart, Bev Russell, Michael Cho, Forrest Plum, Loretta Clay, Talia Jones, Brian Lee, Buddy Davis, David Garcia, Ashley Ross. Andrew Evans, Olivia Brown, Alexis Gray, Arthur Thurston, and Carla Thompson. Let's take a look at these cards. Real up close, one of them up close. And he's the sheriff. Names there. What his title? What he does? Anywhere. Four plus. Once per round, you may kill two zombies at Daniel's current location. Only roll for exposure once. Okay. And all that stuff will be explained to 66 to 58, what the, all those numbers indicate and what they mean. Could be their worth, I'm not sure. Dice you probably roll, I'm not sure. Investigation, what you need for, for, for attacking, I'm assuming that's what you need, two plus. All right, so that, those are your character cards. All right, 
assuming those are your crossroad cards. Whole heck, a lot of these, man. Whoa, a lot of these crossroad cards. The last couple of games, like Claustrophobia and Mutant, I showed you, I said, uh, not a lot of cards in the games. Well, this is a game that is chock loaded full of cards. Um, so here, I'm just gonna go through some of them. And I don't need to go through all these, but let's take a look what they say. On them. So let's take a look at these kind of cards. It says thin ice. If a player moves a survivor, the lake has frozen over, creating a tempting shortcut. You wouldn't have dared risk it in the life you had before, but the rules have changed, and so has the cost of survival. The prospect of having more time to search has you seriously considering it. You place one foot on the ice and hear it creak. Is that normal? Probably. Another foot produces a similar noise. Are you really going to do this? So option one, roll a die and a result of one to three, the mover the moved survivor receives one frostbite wound. On a result of four to six, search through an item deck of your choice for a card of your choice and add it to your hand. Option two, you turn away, it isn't worth it, nothing happens. So these are extra options or things that you can do. And I'm not gonna go through them all because there's a whole lot of them. But you get the general gist of that. Those are your crossroad cards. And just by feeling of the deck, I think at least 60 of them there. Uh, you've got your investigation cards. Right, investigation cards. And see what we got. What did we find? We found a switchblade, a fuel, medicine, outsider, fuel. Fuel, fuel, fuel. Food one, food one, food one. Lighter, switchblade, medicine. Two outsiders. Fuel, shotgun, fuel, medicine. The medicine says, waste power. Remove any type of wound token from a survivor you control or remove any type of wound token from a survivor that shares a location with a survivor you control. It says hospital at the bottom. Oh, they have different things. It says gas station, maybe where you find them. Not sure. Hospital, again, be explained in the rule book. Again, you can go to Plat Hat Games and it'll explain all these cards to you as well. Food two, adrenaline shot, mop, Flashlight, food, food, two, food, two, outsiders, fuel, medicine, medicine, medicine. All right. Let's stack of those. Put it right there on that one. Looks like you get some more of those. That's large too. Even more of those kinds. Oh, so these are starter items. Okay. They start with the stuff. So that's why they're separated. All right. So these are all starter items. Food one. Let's start with foods. Right. And this is probably what you have. And then it dwindles as the game goes along. Okay. Makes sense. Um, you have to replenish them. Or you have to... Get rid of people who are living with you because if you don't have enough food to feed them it can cause other problems so there's your starter items okay that's for starter items that's your starter deck i'm going to keep those separate put those back in the bag so i do not combine them so that is your starting items okay got another bag here ah for location cards these are when you go to a different location on these cards over here station and things of that nature so your cards for there too so it says in the bottom there you find it at the grocery store or uh, yep yeah, these are for the grocery store it's all for the grocery store medicines food yeah it's all for the grocery store grocery store then you got the what you find at the police station the pistol some food walkie-talkie some outsiders again it's all the police station Okay, the 
are separated because one is the starter set. This is just for two of the, the police station or other places like that. So throw that in here like this. But keep that separated as well. Another deck of cards here. We've got. I'm going to assume this is for the additional cards that are there, like the school and things of that nature. Yep, you got the library. Oh, that's cool. Police station blueprints. Equip one per round. When performing search at this police station with this survivor, you may loot and at, look at and keep one additional card. Oh, that's cool. Gas station blueprints. Oh, that's cool. Hospital blueprints. So it's blueprints of all the other places that are located around. Oh, that's awesome. Survivor's cookbook. Journey and Jazzercise. Again, it's all the library. This is your local library, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. Or set up a gaming club and do it at a school or at a library. School baseball bat. So these are items you'd find in those locations. Yep. School, school. Uh, school blueprints. Once per round, when performing a search at the school with this survivor, you may look at and keep one additional card. Cool. School. Again, these are all cards that you find at the school. Oh, let me see what it says for the jazz. Uh, guide to leadership. Once per round, you may increase an unused action die you control by one. More food, more outsiders. Martial arts. Junk scissors. I want to go back to that one card that I saw. That was kind of funny. That card right there. Journey and Jazz Resize. Once per round, you may reroll an unused action die you control. All right. Okay, so those are for the other location cards and what you find with the random items you can find in there. So that's why those are in a separate bag. And last but not least, you have these, this last set of cards. So it says Vengeance. Whoop, careful there now. Right, so that says. Okay, so these look like they're setup cards, setting up uh, different scenarios. Leave it all behind. Victory in time. We need more samples. Raiding party, kill them. Too many mouths. Home sweet home. Winter has come. Stockpile. Find a cure. Ten weeks of darkness. So at the end of the book, end of the rule book, when you had those stories, these obviously align with those were different scenarios, and these are the scenario cards that go with those stories that are in the back of the book. Eight weeks of darkness, find a cure, stockpile, winter has come, home sweet home, too many mouths, kill them, raiding party, we need more samples, leave it all behind. All right, so those are your scenario cards. You have exiled cards. Vengeance, resourceful, chosen, Remorse, atonement, new friends, shelter, south, barter, forgiveness. What we have here. Those are your exile cards. So let's read one of them. If you're not the betrayer, reveal your secret objective to all players and remove it from the game. Your new secret objective is now the following. At least five survivors were removed from the game. Helpless survivors do not count. If you are the betrayer, the first goal on your secret objective has changed to the following. At least four survivors were removed from the game. Helpless survivors do not count. All right. So those are your exiled cards. And you got some red hand cards. Man's March, 
car in the night, shaking things up, exhaustion, hailstorm, raiders, blizzard, starvation, zombie surge, so despair, number of non-players, non-exile player, fail, lose two morale, optional, add two pill cards to gain one morale for preventing the crisis. Or it might be medicine, I'm not sure what that is. Number of non exile players, waste not, fuel shortage, legions of death, overpopulation, strength of the dead, they're watching us, killer instinct, and food spoilage. So that's that red hand deck there. And the baggies that go with it. Throw that up top. Continuing into the box of goodness, we have some tokens. Let's start with this right here. You've got all different kinds of, I'll show you these really quickly, of zombie. Instead of figures, you have the standees of zombie figures. Zombie figure. So we got that's a different one. That's a different one. So I'll show you one of each. There's three. There's the other duplicates. Oh, sorry about that. Didn't mean to hit the camera, but I did. That's duplicate, duplicate. Duplicate, duplicate. So as you can tell, you got plenty, plenty, plenty of these. Zombie characters. Or the standees. Even more. So it looks like to me there may be a total of three different kinds of zombie. Uh, standees. Yeah. So these are your three types. You got this type, the girl, walking around like that. You got the guy, standing around looking like that. And this guy here, cool dude. All right, got it. And then you have various people come to visit your camp or your main characters there's one there another one there different people all right uh, this is the first the pl uh, first player token that's cool Shovel. This lady just standing there hanging out with a knife. Taking a break on the box. Let me rest my feet having a beer. She looks like some sort of scientist, possibly, with that thing in her hand. Looks like maybe a cook or something. I'm not sure. Okay. Then different survivors. There you go. Them up. Ah, there's the dog. There's the guy we talked about, the guy that looks like Santa Claus. Thin, but got a broken bottle. Ready to take somebody on. 
This looks like a magician or a mage of some sort. Spellcaster. I don't think that happens in this game, though. Hmm. This looks like Dowd and Karen. All right, so what we got here? A librarian or a bookworm. Got it. All right. I'll like a couple more of these guys, and we'll go into the tokens. Again, front and back are the same. Again, these are your main characters. We have we showed you the character cards before, so you can tell that some of them are survivors that they pick up, and other ones are your main characters that you have that were in the deck that you used the card with. So the scenario will dictate who's who is who and who you use. And that's all your standees that come in the game as well. Now we've got tokens. We've got all kinds of. Sorry about that. I keep hitting the camera. I didn't mean to. These are zombie heads, it looks like, so. Um, oh, sorry, there's a couple different kinds. Front and back are the same, general gist. Okay. So you get a bag full of those. more tokens and a die. One specialty die, which looks like this. It's got some kind of almost like a skull or something on it, looks like. A star or snowflake. Missing the tooth, there it is. And you got blank spaces on it too. So that indicates everything's on there. Now it's like a snowdrop. And then we have some listing tokens, they're all the same. And you got a bunch of those. And one last bag of tokens. So we got in here. Look like that, which are obviously a food. So you got a bunch of ones that look like this that are obviously boarded up tokens. So you're obviously boarding up an entrance or something of that nature, or a window or whatever it may be. You're boarding stuff up. So you got some of those. Got a bunch of those. You have two, stuck here. two different ones that look like this one, red one and a blue one. Okay, not sure what those are for. Thick cardboard, but I like that to do thick cardboard. There's more food tokens. Then you have, I guess, maybe found survivors. Male on one side, female on the other. Some have long hair, all the same. You got a bunch of those. You got a bunch of these red ones that we had us just saw on the die. And a snowflake on the other side. It looks like, it looks like a snowflake, but I'm not sure. You got a bunch of those too. These are empty containers, junk, food that's been used or wasted. those over there more boards the token looks like this in there Not sure what that one's used for so if there's only one of those somebody that's just next I mean it came in here it's next just punch out from that can of use food And that pretty much explains all the other tokens we have sitting over here. So there's all your tokens as well. And the bag that comes in. 
So there is everything that's included in and concludes our unboxing of Dead of Winter, a Crossroads game by Isaac Vega and John Gilmore. Of course, it's made by Plat Hat Games. Thank you again for joining us for this unboxing video. If you enjoyed it, give us a like. Of course, you can always leave a comment and uh, also uh, sign up to get, um, you know, subscribe to our channel so you can let, be notified when we release any new content. Again, uh, thank you for joining us for this unboxing. Be safe, be well, enjoy the remainder of your day. We'll catch you on the next unboxing video.